Hello, good evening, good evening, what is going on everybody, welcome back to the first installment of Bourbon After Dark, no I don't know, I just made that up, but it sounded good and we are here on a Saturday night in the unfinished basement at the V1 household. It's awesome. I'm sitting in comfy clothes. I got a little bourbon next to me. The kids are going down to bed, and I'm ready for some 146 action in a freighter variant, which we haven't. I I think the last time we flew the 146 freighter was like in South America out of uh, Medellin or something like that. So it's been a minute, but I really like the inclusion of the freighter variant on the 146. It just mixes it up. You can see that lovely FedEx livery on there, and then that E300 right behind us. Woo! I guess that E300 got an update today too. Man, I didn't. If I would have known that, we might have had to do might have double up. But um, yeah, Bay is life. I love this airplane. I hope y'all love it. And when this update drops, I mean, you're just gonna be. I mean, it's a free update too, so it's not like you have to pay for an expansion pack. Just you get so much with this airplane. It's a lot of fun. So we're going to do a different, it's a different vibe tonight. We're doing freight stuff. We're here in San Diego. We're going to head north to Oaklandia up the west coast. So it's, um, let's see what time local. Is it like 5.30 local? So it should be a pretty good, pretty good one. And yes, the Bruner yoke is epic vodka. I'm liking your profile. I, You know what? I did that tweak, that 85% on the autopilot. I'm not having an issue. But I really want to try your A300 profile, uh, Team Vodka, with the Bruner as well. I bet that's even more juice so 
Let's get some shout outs here. Thank you for tuning in this evening to Bill's in the house. Uh, Steve Levesque's here. Tyson's here. Tim K. I believe that's that's uh, or that Team Vodka right there in the FedEx A300. Al W. Pampers box on the pedals. No, Al, I totally forgot to do that. We were watching Charlotte's Web. So uh, I forgot to secure the rudder pedals. We'll just have to roll with it tonight. Jeff Fell in the house. AJ Funari. What's up, man? Bomb Tech's in the house. McAllen is here making bratwurst at 120 in the morning. That sounds delicious. Fireflyers here. What's up, man? Good to see you. Uh, Benny Benny. Bear, Blue Bear, Victor Silva, Digital Merc, Jeremy Harvey in the house. Waters here as well. Force Raptor and many more. Thank you all for tuning in. Aileron's in on the wind. Also popping in here. What's going on, man? Good to see you. I really shouldn't be having another late one, but it's V1. Yes. Pour them out. Pour them out. Mike sounds extra HQ this evening. Really? Well, maybe you're just not used to me speaking in my basement because there's less echo um, at the V1 HQ at the office space. There was still a little bit of echo on the wall, so... I think this is really, um, I think it's better audio actually all around when I listen to the audio. So maybe that's what it is. All right, let me have a sip and we're going to get this show on the road. We got one leg, chill leg. It's going to be fun. We're in East Flow. Uh, I cannot tell you if, I don't know if I've ever taken off San Diego East Flow. So uh, this will be an adventure for all of us. Let's get into it. Mm-mm-mm. Maybe you can do some ASMR and cruise. <coughs> also, Boso, I totally forgot. I should have done the, uh, I should have upped the, or cha- I need to download that uh, Korean jazz. Be our freighter Korean jazz. All right. Let's get this puppy fired up. We're going to get the batteries on. Uh, we're going to fire up ground power initially here. We're going to do GSX boarding as well with the freight. I don't know how that's going to work out. We're going to find out together. We need to pump up some hydraulicals here so we can get the stairs out. And ground power on. There we go. Now we're pumping hydraulic. I'll get our bus ties and inverters and standby gin. Yeah, towards the hills. And we're in freight. And the 300's a dog. And it's heavy. But it's San Diego, so it shouldn't be too crazy. Um, that should be enough to get it running. We'll turn all those off. We'll turn you back off. Get the stairs open at the very least. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll open up the cargo. Oh, you know what? I actually need to run the hydraulics for the uh, cargo. So hold on. Let's run them all. To open these cargo doors, uh, we need to... I'm just going to open up everything because I don't know what's going to happen on the freighter. Let's see. I'm just going to open up everything because I want to see it. The freighter variant. Okay, so we got the bolt cargo door over here. And then we've got some other like uh, mini cargo doors down there and the service door. Looking good. All right. Look at that massive cargo door open up on the back. I'm really surprised. Is the 146 used as a freighter in real life? I feel like this would be a good... Uh, I feel like this would be a great option of a freighter. I mean, that is a bolt cargo door. I mean, there might be some issues with the, uh, I don't know, with the overwing. I don't know. No, I feel like it'd be a good freighter, but maybe not. I, I don't know. All right, all the doors are open. Let's kill our hydraulics now so we're not running those here at the gate the whole time. Boom. All right, that's all set. Don't forget the coffee. Yeah, no coffee yet. Uh, I had another early one this morning. And then I had some coffee when I got back around 1 o'clock. And I, I was going to have a coffee about an hour ago, Force Raptor, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go straight in the bourbon uh, because I got to get up early tomorrow. Easter Sunday, we got a lot of plans, so I got to. Uh, we're just going to have have a little bourbon tonight. We're going to chill, go to sleep. Tomorrow's a brand new day, and next week is a brand new week of streaming and real life flying. I got a lot on my schedule, man. I don't know why I did this to myself for April, but uh, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Mm. You're absolutely right. In the airplane, what am I? What am I doing here? Let's, uh, let's get the galley power on. Uh, that, that's crucial. Freight dogs, I, I guarantee you, guarantee you, I think this is a little burner light. Uh, I guarantee you they are running coffee. So we'll get the coffee brewing. All right, let's start with our top-down flow. Yes, TNT has the BAE freighters. That's awesome. I do like that TNT livery. You know, I, I see that it's included. All right, anti-skid, yellow, green lift spoilers. This is in op. I guess we don't really need to move that switch. Uh, hydraulics, we've already done the test. We've already boosted everything up. Center tank transfer, that's going to go auto. Inner pump, we'll save that for the APU start. Actually, we'll just get it on now. Let's uh, juice up the overhead here. Let's get some juice, max juice lights going on. Oh, yeah. Get everything nice and juiced up. 
Look, I can hear the coffee in the background. <laughs> it's so nice. We'll get the APU gen on, so when we do fire up the APU, it's ready to go. We did this electrical. Uh, we can check here. External generator is producing power. Very good. Uh, battery one, battery two. We got good volts. Engines look normal. Everything looks good on this side. We'll get the fastened seatbelt sign on now and the emergency exit lights because we don't have any passengers this afternoon. Uh, this panel looks fine for now. Engine air, everything can stay off. We'll leave the APU air off. Uh, cabin air is fine. Ram air is shut. Let's get the flight deck and cabin fans up and running. Get the nav into high and knit. Let's get the wing lights on because we're doing freight and the logo and the entry lights. So I'm going to turn the wing lights on. Uh, I guess you know, we don't have props out there. I guess we'll, we'll go wing lights off. I was thinking, you know, kind of like the ATR, how if you're running, you'd, you'd have, if you're in hotel mode, you got to have the wing light on. Right? I think that's part of the procedure. Tyler Berg, what's up, man? Thank you for the 12 months of support. I learned so much these past 12 months. Keep at it. Tyler Berg, hey, man, that is awesome. I'm glad you're learning. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Much more content to come coming at you right now. So uh, I hope you guys continue to enjoy this and seeing the UNS-1. Get familiar with the UNS-1 because it's going to drop in the F-28. The UNS-1 in the F-28 might have me more hype than it even in this airplane because I, I really enjoyed flying the 146 VOR to VOR. Um, and I enjoy doing that in the F-28 too. But it almost feels like it's more appropriate in the F-28 than 146. I don't know. Like, I feel like if I'm going to have glass in the 146, it's got to be the Avro RJ, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Let's go ahead and turn on uh, this puppy here. We'll turn on a U. We'll come across here. We will get uh, you on as well. We'll power up the TMS. We're going to hide the first officer's yoke. Uh, we're going to turn on the main supply over there. We'll do our ground op test. We'll cancel that. We'll cancel those. Boom. And at the uh, main panel here, we will turn on our, speaking of UNS-1s, we will turn on the radar in the standby mode. We will turn on VHF-1 and 2. Turn on the yaw dampers. We're squawking 2000. We are on Iveo tonight. So we got a little Iveo traffic out there. Oh, look at this beautiful cockpit ready to go ready to load up we're going to load in the flight plan and then we're going to start the cargo loading because i think it'll take pretty it'll be pretty quick got some donos to get to Ka let's see who's that migs dropping the canadian seven super chat man appreciate you i'm on it queue up for your coffees at the cargo hold door hey migs good to see you man appreciate you thank you so much for the seven dollar super chat I'll be picking up that coffee here in just a minute at the aft cargo door, man. Appreciate you. Fire Flyer 1002 dropping 10 gifted memberships. Hey, if you pick up a gifted membership from Mr. Fire Flyer, make sure you say thank you. Uh, first responder medic, right? Flight medic, uh, in flight medic, something like that. Uh, appreciate you. Thank you so much for the support. That's massive uh, support here on the channel. You guys are awesome. And thank you all for tuning in tonight. This is a really late stream. Uh, if you look at the history of stream windows for the channel, but it's actually a time that I really enjoyed streaming when I first started streaming and I had internet at my own house because I, I like getting in when everything's like calm down and dark outside. I don't know. It just gets me in the mood to do some cool off the wall flights. You know, we can fly Airbus, A to B, San Diego, LA, Phoenix. I feel like these nighttime streams... It just kind of is a different vibe. So I appreciate you all tuning in. And if you are new tuning into the content here, welcome aboard. And we're glad to have you. All righty. Prime time for Australia. You're right, geographically inverted. It is prime time for y'all. All right. So let's do a quick INS situation here. I'm going to go ahead and accept that. And let's get right into our flight plan. So first things first, let's load up San Diego. And I'm going to hit enter, accept. And before we go any further, let's come over here and look at the OFP and take a quick look at the METAR. We'll refresh that. Perfect time for streams. I'm not at work. Scott, that's awesome, man. And that's and I know there's a lot of y'all that I stream in a really difficult window for y'all to watch. So this is just going to be, it allows us to hang out more in real time. You don't always have to just watch replay. And so I, I do enjoy that. We're still going to stream in the early window too, but we're going to be doubling up and we're going to be mixing it up on this channel a lot. Mig says, this is actually perfect for me living on the West Coast. Exactly, yeah. So West Coast time, it's what, 545 over there? Big question, has the V1 cop made it back home? Not yet, AJ. It's still, uh, 
It's still at the uh, office. I got uh, after church tomorrow. We're going to swing by the office. I should be able to get the rest of the stuff out. All right. So we don't have any SID. We're just going direct Orsos. So with the MZO3. So let's go into San Diego departures. Remember, your best friend with UNS1 is the menu key. So menu key depart tours runway niner. So that's going to be number one. We'll enter that. Actually, yeah, Team Vodka, you're taking off. Uh, you're going to take off 9, right? Let's see. San Diego. Yeah, zero nine zero at 16 gust 2-1. We couldn't even take off the other way. Straight down the pipe, east flow. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can pick our own SID here. So we're going out to Orso's. I wonder why we don't have a SID. Let me look at our charts. Let's see if we can make one up here. Looking at our SIDs, they might all be for 2-7. Uh, this actually looks pretty good. Imperial. What is this one? This is the border seven. Seaward. Uh, we're not going seaward. Echo two. We're not going that direction. What do we got? Falc one. I don't really know. What are, let me see here. Orsos, Cores are good for the Emzo three. I don't know. Are you doing a SID, Team Vodka? Padres 2, RNAV, Pebble 6. That ain't going to be going that way. Seau, Meatball. I don't know where Orso's is. That's the problem. I'll tell you what. Let's look at the arrival and see when the Emzo 3, I think, comes way down south. Yeah, Echo 2. Emzo 3 are good. So it's kind of inland. So if I go back to departures, you said you're doing the Echo, Echo 2 RNAV? All right, we'll do that. That's not really where we want to go. I kind of want to do the Border 7 because it's more inland. Nah, screw it. This will be more juice out over the water. We'll do the Echo 2. Echo 2 departure. We'll load that in, and we'll take it out to Seal Beach, and then we'll go from there. So we'll do the Echo 2, which is number 2. We'll enter that. Seal Beach is number 2. We'll enter that. Enter. Back to our flight plan key here. We'll go to the next page. After SLI, we got Oros. Oros. O R O S Z. Oh, dang it. There we go. I copied it. Excellent. That's the one I want. After Oros, we're going uh, Cores Argood Mzo 3. So we should be good. Mr. Wrong Side Sim joining up. Let me get to you here in just a second, man. Uh, car, oh, R good. R G O O D. Boom. Boom. And then we'll load up Oakland for the Enzo 3. Enter. Done. What's your favorite button on the UNS1? The menu key. If you learn anything from this channel, which runways are you landing? And why Team Vodka answers that question. What did, it, what did Mr. Wrongside say? Let's go. Reporting from work, eating Indian food, waiting for go home time minus one hour. Oh, man. Late night for you, dude. Well, get everybody on the ground safe. Enjoy your, uh, enjoy your Indian food. That's a little bit spicy. Bourbon's up. Happy Saturday. Boo. Bo. Good to see you, man. Ready for a massive spread in the morning. Hell yeah, Nabil. All right. Uh, Oakland is probably landing tents, I would imagine. Let's take a look at the weather one more time. Destination... Winds in Oakland, 030 at 10. So if we look at the arrival charts here, 10-9, it's going to be 030. We can land, well, the freight over is over here, right? I guess we'll just take 30. 30 Whiskey 4 turnoff would be right there. Let's do that. All right, easy enough, and then we're going to start loading up. Uh... Mzo three, boom, off of our good. Here we go. So three zero number seven, enter. Mzo three number one, enter. Our good number one, enter. ILS three zero is number one, enter. And I think Wuvon is all the way out. If I look at the approaches, looking at ILS three zero, our good is not on here. We'll take it out to Wuvon. Or no, yeah, Wuvon, Wuvon, Wuvon. That's what I meant to say. Number three. Boom. 
That's an old, uh, that's an old, uh, root in there, whoever, Migs. Sorry, man, I never, I forgot to update it. All right, our flight plan is in the box. I like it, I like it a lot. Um, what I do, tell you what we'll do, we'll go, uh, back to, we'll put you on nav. Uh, we'll put you on flight plan, and let's get GS exporting right now. Or loading, I should say. And we'll just use... Who's Donata? We'll use Donata. I don't know who that is. Alright. What's that noise? I keep hearing, like, thumping. <clears throat> I can't find the TCAS on the A300 on the new update. Bomb tech. Uh... Team Valka, help him out. Where's the TCAS? Nope, crew's already on board. Migs, we're headed up to Saint, uh, Oakland. Oakland. I'll update that route for you right now. Uh, actually, I don't think I can do that. Oh, no, I can do it. Hold on. I'm going to fire up my APU in just a minute, Team Valka. We'll be quick. Just got the toll list 319 and 321, but wanted the little guy. Where should I go first? Ooh, Laser Shark, why don't you take that 319 into Washington, D.C., fly in the river visual? That's what I would do. Why not, why not go from the frying pan right into the fire, man? River visual right into D.C.A. is what I would do. All right, root here. I'm going to update the root so you all don't get mad. And then we're firing up the APU so I can stop listening to the ground power there's the actual route no it's not I don't know what that is I actually have no idea what that is oh my gosh I pasted <laughs> hold on there we go there's the actual route now we should be up to up to snuff V1, I had a diversion day and was going into San Diego, divert to LA. Dispatch didn't get enough fuel to hold long enough for San Diego to swap to 09. Held 23 minutes of extra. Senior guy, too. Really? Wrong side. I had a senior guy have me landing. We landed with uh, 3.8. We landed at 3.8 in a 3.20. Classic. And I was like, and we did everything. I didn't do. We were cost indexed. We flew everything the way he wanted us to fly. I mean, if there was any hiccup at all, we were done. Landed with 3.8 in the classic 320. I was like, bro. And he's a senior guy. Uh, I want to say the last name was Indian. Singh? Singh? Do I recommend this plane? Benny, Benny. Yes, I do, my man. I do. Um, I'll talk about it here in a second. Let's get our APU fired up. And then we'll talk about that. APU start. That's the APU start valve alert there. LA has been e-stops on and off all day. Crazy weather here. Cam MD80, how you doing, man? Good to see you. What do you prefer, Tampa or Orlando? Well, I'm going into Tampa on Tuesday, so I say Tampa. Tampa's more chill. Orlando is kind of like... It's Orlando Airport, other than the JetBlue Terminal and the International, the new International Terminal... I don't like the Orlando airport, man. It's just, it's overcrowded. It's just got too much, too much going on, man. It's officially bursted at the seams. I don't enjoy it. Tampa, much more chill. Chick-fil-A, good food courts, good stuff. Had the worst turbulence from Philly to Houston. Hey, when did you fly in the bill? Because I was flying the other day and I've had some wicked turbulence. I think it was on last, what was it? Tuesday and Wednesday. Had some real, actually Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday last week. Been some real rough air. Real rough air. Are these actually going in and like, can we see them in there? That would be cool if you could actually see cargo inside. I'm sure they sure slide them up though. A little bit of a clipping, but that's cool. It'd be cool if it was like a custom pod. 
I mean, that is pretty cool, honestly. Uh, exactly, wrong side, yes. That's exactly who it was. I'll let you know. Well, yeah, and it had us, so Ron said he had us landing exactly with the min dispatch fuel, and I was like, okay. Um, so I don't know where we lost, because it, what is it, 4.5? I should know this. No, it's like five, five, six, I don't remember. Initially had us landing, hold on, where's the life form? What do you want, man? I'm, I'm busy down here. Okay, well, just gotta go feed the bunnies. Farm life. See, when I'm not at the office, we get interrupted. Alright, APU's up and running. Let's get rid of this, uh... This ground power, because I am tired of listening to it out there. Alright, that's coming down. We are pretty much ready to go. We're going to do our Beast 4 start flow. I tell you what, we're going to do T01937. I wanted to make that a little bit more. I guess 937 is as much as we can go. T01, we'll do a flaps 18. I hope we're going to do flaps 18. We might have to do flaps 24 out of here, chat. We might have to go. I think I'm going to do 24. We're going to do flaps 24. I'm a little concerned with the terrain. Mad Dog Mike dropping a $10 super chat. Man, appreciate you, dude. He says, I know you're done with x -Plane, but I wish you would revisit the Felis. Ah, Mad Dog Mike. I don't say I'm done with x -Plane, but I'm close. I, the Felis is phenomenal, man. It is phenomenal. The Tolis birds are phenomenal. I'm not done with x -Plane. I'm not. I just, I'm waiting for it to catch up. Like, and I know it will never catch up one for one to Microsoft. I know that. But there are still things that I feel like could be addressed and are on the roadmap to be changed. So I'm really just waiting to, for it to be a little bit more what I'm looking for. But I do miss it. I do miss flying the Tolis. I do miss the 319. I miss the 72. I miss the 74 200. So I'm not done with x -Plane. I'm just I'm kind of in that unknown gray zone. Thank you for the $10 super chat, man. Appreciate you. I'm concerned with terrain. I'm at max cargo. Yeah, let's look at our weight here. I, um, I don't need that forward service door either. Or the aft service door, really. Um, where can I look? We don't have a perf, do we? We don't. But we are going to be... 82.5 or about one minute until departure um, so we're going to prep for engine start we'll get our fuel tank pumps on right now we're going to get the engine anti-ice on uh, we'll wait for that we'll wait for all that good stuff I'll tell you what we can do we can do cabin we can do packs on and uh, APU air right now what's our top altitude we never set that what altitude are you going at? V1 is Saturday Night Live. Hell yeah, man. I'm going to set 19 for now until Team Vodka tells me what altitude he's going on. Uh, so that's good. We're going to go flight. Uh, we'll get the flight directors after start. We've got to power down the TMS. And we're about ready to, we've got to close the cargo door. So let's get the uh, DC pump on. I think we go DC AC pump. And I think we can close up with that. All right, we're closing that cargo door. Jeremy says, what disappoints me is that Austin and his team could make killer graphics if they wanted to. Doesn't seem like they even want to do that. Yeah, it does seem like they don't even want to try to adjust the graphics, which, I mean, I get it. They want to work on other things, but some of the other things they work on, I'm just like, why? And here's the thing. I'm going to be straight honest with y'all. If X-Plane, let's just say X-Plane somehow got a deal for Ortho. So who does Microsoft use? It uses... Um, Bing Ortho, right? 
let's just say that there was some deal made and X-Plane all of a sudden got Google Ortho streaming services. Even if you had to pay a fee, $10 a month, I guarantee you a lot of people would be flying X-Plane a lot more. Guaranteed. Um, it would actually put a... It would actually really compete with Microsoft out of the gate. So, but, you know, that's a pipe dream. All right. ACDC pumps are up. Let's go ahead and close. Uh, we'll pull up the stairs. We'll close the forward packs door when that is closed. Let's hit our magic barrel ref key. Vodka said he's going at 30. That seems aggressive. I will go at, uh, I don't think I can get up that high, man. We'll go to... We'll go 220. Go 220 for now. All right, PMS is tower down, power down, and we'll close that door. Hydraulics are going to come off. DC pump and AC pump are off for start. Now let's run through our checklist that I have no idea how to operate here. Okay, tech log. I'm just going to run through this. Transponder, flaps, air brakes, nav lights, sad. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Standby generators, APU gen, fire handles. Skipped all that, did all that. Uh, this is all prelim. We did all that prelim. So before starts, chalk briefing, thrust levers, hydraulics, fuel panel. All right, so yeah, fuel panel is all on. Let's get our beacon light on. So we're gonna go right, uh, we'll get no smoking and um, arm those. Beacon light on as well. Packs off, APU air off. We'll get the engine anti-ice valves open. We'll get the start power to norm. Run that to four, start master on. We're primed up and ready to go. That's seatbelts, fuel, flight deck recorder. We'll do checked uh, bugs are set for flaps 24. Magic barrel ref key is done. Let's get out of here. I don't know where we're going to push back at. I don't know how this is going to work out. I have no idea how this is going to work out, Team Vodka. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Hello. Good evening. Man, we're almost out of bourbon already. We haven't even pushed off the gate. I have streaming ortho for free. That's the easy part. The hard part is the AI used to add the ground eye candy. Aha, I see, AJ. Well, that streaming ortho is so glitchy, though, and it causes crashes and errors, and I've seen people mess with it. I've seen it bring systems down. It's too much, man. It needs to be worked on. But, like, if that was a priority, I have no doubt that they could figure it out. The X-Plane team could figure it out. But that's not the priority. It just seems like... It seems like their priorities are so off base with what the real consumer would want, and they're so stubborn to change that they they just continue to go in the opposite direction, almost out of spite. That's what it feels like to me. I could be completely wrong, but from the times that I've listened and watched and seen the roadmap, it's like, what are we doing? What are, what are y'all doing over there? You've got one APU with FADEC and four other manuals. Yeah, pretty much. McCallum, but what about the dynamic weather though? Oh, yeah. Uh, I have straight pushback. Let's try that. Um, oh no, we need to go nose right, tail left. Team Vodka, Godspeed. I don't know if I'm gonna, I might, I might push right into you, man. We'll see what happens here. Uh, McCallum, you do have a fantastic point though. Um, McCallum's talking about the dynamic. You're absolutely right. Um, I'm not saying it would be better. <laughs> I'm saying a lot more people would fly it more, but you can't compete with dynamic weather. Just look at what we're dealing with right now. The sun and the clouds moving in here, moving out of here. I don't know. Have they ever asked you for your feedback? No, no. No one has ever asked me for any feedback um, other than TOLIS. When, with their airplanes 
And... I don't know, there might have been a few others. Uh, uh, Black Square. T Black Square, uh, doing TBM stuff. Um... That's pretty much it, I think. Oh, sim coders. Sim coders, definitely. I feel bad for sim coders, because I was, like, all about it. And then they came for the, the Chieftain Navajo, and they're like, hey, you want to try this out, see how it is, and all this? We're going to stop this pushback right here, though. This is getting out of hand. Um, and then that was pretty much the end of my X-Plane run there for a while. All right. Pushback complete. No? I thought we were done pushing. Break set. Clear disconnect. We're starting them up. I'm going to text. Here we go. This is going to be... I don't know if this is going to work out. This could backfire, chat. I'm going to text the wife. I'm going to text her. Bourbon refill? Question mark. Smiley face? Let's see what happens. We can't take off with no bourbon. Hmm. Trevor, you're absolutely right. Uh, absolutely right. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix more than more than once. Um, yeah, I mean, how could I forget? Jeez. Yeah, of course. Phoenix, and not just Phoenix, uh, Amir specifically. Very receptive. I've had a few conversations with him through messages and stuff. Like, very receptive. Um, obviously, just super passionate, wanting to have the best possible representation out there. So, yeah, definitely. Um... Uh, Definitely. Fly by wire too. Fly by wire too. So there has been some. So I don't know what I'm talking about. The bourbon's talking. It's a risky. It is a risky text. She said, "No more stairs." I'm gonna say, "Please, you'll be my hero." All right, let's see if we can get them all fired up here. Let's go on number two. I need an FA call chime. Oh, <laughs> Tim, how do I, uh, I can call the flight attendants. Hey, we need more bourbon. How do I reset it? Oh, push the cancel. Offer, ki offer a kiss, but nothing more. More leads to more kids than this jet has. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> if I text my wife that, she'd unplug the PC. <laughs> oh, man. I, too, like to live dangerously. All right, well, number one, last one. Here we go. Fire them all up. Jeez. Takes all day to fire these up. More kids than engines. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, we already got three of them. I mean, maybe we should have one more kids because four engines is better than three. Well, I don't know. Three engines is my favorite, so I think that's a sign. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Uh, thanks for this uh, super chat, AJ. Sharp, what's up, man? How many bourbons in now? Who's counting, man? 
It's I'm off. It's my vacation. Uh oh, guys, the light came on. The lights to the stairs came on. Stand by. <gasps> Can we get a positive rates in chats for Miss V1? She delivered. Look, babe, look, I called you on the flight attendant call right here. See? See? Let's get some positive rates in chats for Miss V1. <laughs> we have bourbon delivered, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready to go. Hmm. Oh! Dang. Thanks, hon. We got great flight attendants on this aircraft tonight. Look at all the positive rates, babe. <laughs> okay, what are we doing here? Let's get this off. Uh, start master off. After start flow, that's coming off. That's coming on. That's coming on. Uh, APU air is going to be on. We're not going to use engine air for this puppy because we're going to need all the performance. Screen heat's on. Ice detect is on. Uh, double checking everything else here. Engine Gen 1, Gen 4 are all working fantastically. Uh, we're gonna go engine pumps on DC, uh, auto AC, PTU on, and we're going flaps 24, that's gonna be two. Oh, I have to rebind my views for, oh no, I think I have them, there we go, for cargo. Team Vodka's getting impatient back there. First you tell her to leave and they, now you're taking care of your business and then bake for more drinks. She's definitely a keeper. Oh yeah, she's definitely a keeper, man. Let's hope it's not tampered. That is true. A little uh, Visine in the, uh, in the ginger ale. I've seen that go down firsthand. All right, that's flaps uh, 24, flaps 24. TMS, power it up, TO1, reset the bugs. How do I set the speeds though? Oh, they're already set. 93.7, 93.7, flaps 24. Trims are zeroed out. And trims are zeroed out now. Let's go, San Diego traffic. FedEx 357, taxi runway 09. We're gonna end up crossing 09 here in a moment. All right, FD bars on, takeoff command, alt arm. Let's go. Let's go. Tucson? No, we're leaving San Diego. I need to turn the flood light down. Do I have a flood light on in here? San Diego, FedEx 415, heavy uh, crossing 27 at Charlie 4 and Fox Trap following the small thing in front of me. <laughs> the small thing? That's not nice. Got more engines than you. I'm pretty sure one of his engines has more thrust than all four of ours combined, including the APU. <laughs> Matthew Kelly, thanks for the $10 super chat, man. Appreciate you. This super chat is a tip to the wife for coming in clutch as V1 head flight attendant. Matthew Kelly, appreciate you. I'll let her know. I'll buy her a special coffee tomorrow. How's that? We'll go out. I'll get her a special coffee. I'll say this is from Matthew Kelly, courtesy of Flight Attendant of the Month Club. Appreciate you, man. Look at this. Couple of FedExes. Man, that model matching is spot on, dude. Where am I going? I'm going to Runway Niner. Where are you going? It's not about the size, Hasso Basso. You're right. It's how you work it. I'm going to Runway 9. Where are you going? Let's go down here. Charts, departure, taxi, 10-9. Yeah, we're going to go here. Charlie 6. Uh, we're going to cross at Charlie 6 and then uh, go down to Runway 9. -er. That's our plan. Man, the ground handling, though. Love it. This ground handling is so nice. It really sticks out as a, as a good uh, update. The other 146, the, the previous version, it felt a little skatey. And the F-28, I still think is, this is just as good as the F-28 now. F-28 never felt that skatey on the ground, like you're on ice skates. The 146 kind of had a little bit of that, 
but this uh, this ground update is 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 great. All right, we are on the network though, so let's just make sure no one's crossing, and then we'll make a call here. San Diego traffic, FedEx 357. We're gonna cross runway nine or at Charlie six. San Diego traffic. All right, we would normally get all of our lights on, but since the lights are so hard to manipulate, we're just gonna go like this. I gotta make sure all my other wing views are bound. I have one more wing view I need to bound. I guess bind. I guess. Wow, look at this lighting though. So much juice. Uh, not in the beta cam. This is uh, the stable version of Microsoft Flight Sim, but this is a pre-release. I pre-release is kind of uh, not the right phrase, but like it's the update before it's uh, released officially. So I think. They're aiming to release this version 2 of the 146s next week. Uh, and it's, of course, it's free of charge and everything. So, the, But Just Flight was kind enough to hand it, pass it my way, get familiar with it, and uh, do some, some pre-release content, which I have absolutely no problem at all doing because I really, truly love this airplane. Eduardo, I don't know who made this scenery. Yeah, I cut you off because you were taking too long over there. I don't know which way you went. Trust me, Team Valka, you're going to pass me. You'll pass me probably by 18,000 feet. Heck, probably by 10,000 you'll be passing me. I'm not sure who made this one, Eduardo. I've, I've had this one for a minute. I don't think it's the new one, right? Because didn't BM World just make a new one? So if BM World just made the new one, this is not the new one. I think this is... Is it Latin VFR, maybe? Don't drink and taxi. No, don't do that. Don't drink and fly. Uh, a couple other things while we're taxiing down here. We're going to get the RNAV position light, or get the RNAV into RNAV mode. We'll be LNAV off the ground. I don't, we'll have to do it at 400 feet. I'll review the departure here just before we blast off. I need to juice up the FO's lights over there. He's sitting in the dark. Ah, screw it. We'll let him sit in the dark. We'll let him know who's flying. Glare shield light needs to come up a little bit, though. We can reset the cabin call. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Reset you. These are all overhead lights, right? Yeah, all right. Guess we can hide the yoke. Juicy. Couple of wind socks right next to each other. Going in opposite directions. That is interesting. San Diego traffic, FedEx 357, holding short, runway 09. San Diego. Alright, we are... We're going to use the displace threshold. I'm going to come all the way down. Uh, actually, I don't think that's a displace threshold, so we're going to have to go right here. Emergency call is for a refill. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's set the brake real quick. Review our SID. We're on the Echo 2. Uh, so Echo 2 calls for off runway 9. We're going to be climbing left turn to Baca. Climbing heading 095 to 4000, then a left turn direct Baca. So we can drew, drew that. We can do that. What is that? Climbing left turn, 095, 4,000. 095 is set. We're going 4,000, then we're going to turn around and go direct to Baca. So to help myself out, I can even go DTO number three, and all I got to do is come down here and hit enter, and we're out of here. San Diego traffic, FedEx 357, departing runway 09, Echo 2 departure out to the uh, north, San Diego traffic. All right, all the lights are coming on. Wing lights are on. Strobe lights are on. Let's go to Oakland. Cyclone, what's up, man? Good evening, dude. Welcome to the madness that is Saturday Night Freight. Proper taxi speed? Brisk walk, if you ask the FAA. If you ask Southwest, about three knots below rotation speed. Callum, thanks. I got the RNAV mode on. You worry about your bratwurst. Let me worry about the RNAV over here on Bourbon Air, all right? 
<laughs> sobriety test at the whole short line. Uh, look at me doing a 321. I was in a 321 today, and I had, I had, I totally forgot to tell you all this. Absolute greaser into Detroit. FO was even like, man, have we even landed yet? And uh, my lineup was 10 for 10. So that was a 321 lineup there. All right. Venue of traffic, uh, FedEx 14 Heavy, uh, lining up uh, 09 behind departing traffic. Yeah, behind. Let's go. All right, we're going to hold the brakes. TMS is set to take off. Checked. And I don't know if we have to do this for call out, so I'm just going to manually do it. I don't. I think that's part of their fixes. They don't have cabin calls during freight. So we're going to just leave it. Let's go. Freight dog time. Spool them up. And let's go to Oakland. TMS sets takeoff. I'll hold the brakes until power is set. We're looking for 93 1. Power set. Flex achieved. Brakes released. Oh yeah, let's go. Speed alive, both sides. Way too loud. Way too loud. 80 yeah. knots cross checked. Yeah, I'm glad we went flaps 24. I think that was a good decision. V1. Rotate. V2. Nice and easy. Nice and easy on the 300 freighter. Beautiful positive rate. Gear up. Oh, that pitch changed there. Keep climbing. Oh, it's just hand flies so nice. Adios, San Diego. Much better takeoff performance with Flaps 24. I think I've been doing it all wrong. All right, let's go uh, sync mode. Left turn around. And we're going to come down here. We're going to go enter. Left turn to Baca. Basically making a left downwind departure. Lower that nose a little bit. We're just going to hand fly this one out here. V2 plus 10. Safe high speed. Select flap 18. Flap 18 selected. Now here comes a big pitch change. There you see that nose one drop. Get in there with that. Ooh, I went all the way up. I didn't mean to go all the way up. That's why. That's all right. We lowered the nose. We're all right. We're flying freight. Oh, that is juice. All right, roller on out. San Diego traffic, FedEx 357 on a heading of 300, passing 2.6 out to the northwest. Last call, San Diego. All right, sync mode off, LNAV on. And we'll pitch for 250. San Diego traffic, FedEx 14 heavy. Yeah, uh, we're rolling on 9. Echo 2 departure. All right, there's 250. Let's go ahead and engage autopilot. We'll engage IAS hold. We're LNAV, IAS hold. And we're still ripping our engines. Let's go uh, sync mode. We're going to try to pitch up there. Come on down, baby. Freight doesn't care, so we don't have to be smooth on this one. Looking for about 89% in the climb out. All right, flaps up. Gear is up. We're sync mode on the TMS, passing 5,000. Look at that. Was that a little early on the left turn? It felt like it. What was the SID? I went to 400 feet. I think, was it like a thousand feet? <laughs> what was the SID? I think we, we blew through that. Uh, oh yeah, to 4,000? <laughs> Whoops. That's alright. We got an early vector. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Chat. I want to get some of the cockpit in here. Look at that. The reflection below the clouds, off the water. Yeah, I took a zero off that 4,000. My bad. 
250 hour move. Alright, we're going into the uh, definitely icing condition here. Let's see what happens if we pick up anything. I'm going to turn down these lights just a tad. Turn down the flood, turn down the panel. Alright, we're 250, we're 89.4, everything's looking. Yeah, ice detect, there it is. Let's go engine anti ice on, tail and outer on. And we're out of terrain, so I'm going to go ahead and go engine air on, APU air off. We'll go ahead and we'll leave the APU on until we hit 10K. We're doing our own flows tonight. Uh, here's this heading sync button here, hidden sync button on this screw. Got to love it. Sync your heading bug up. Shouldn't have any excuses now. I don't know where I should. I feel like that view is, I kind of want this view, but it's, oh my goodness, though. That is, let's do a trailing edge. That's kind of cool right there. We'll do that. Since it's freight, we don't really... Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Screenshot. Freight doesn't care. Imagine carrying a load of honey badgers. Uh, how less... <laughs> uh, weather radar? There is cam. There is cam. I didn't turn it on. Here we go. It does work. We verified it. There we go. Look at that. We got some radar out in front of us here. Once we hit 10, once we get on top of this, we're just going to go direct to uh, one of our fixes on the flight plan. We're not going to fly the whole SID out. But that was a sweet shot there coming off the, the left. Let's go back to that, see if we get another under wing breakout. That was so cool. V1, I ordered my flight sim projects Airbus stick and Hotas base today. Thanks for the recommendation. Down South Traveler. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I know you will. Um, Make sure you check back once you get it all set up and flying it. You will have to relearn. If you came from uh, like a TCA stick or a CH product stick, you will have to relearn how to fly the Airbus. But don't worry because you're learning the right way or as close as, in my opinion, we can get on desktop sim. And you're going to love it. Maybe Zobo will release the weather API for weather in Microsoft so we can get good radars. Michael Williams, ah. in my personal opinion, I think that should be like one of the lowest on the totem pole because that... As long as we have something like this, like a, I say Nexrad, like some type of um, internet-based radar, we still get nice. No, we should be top of it. Uh, I'm going to stop the APU. I really don't think that it should be that high on the priority list because if you see... Um, Does DC pump stay on? I mean, who's going to go around... Who's going to go around cells, you know? So I would much rather uh, folks or developers focus on key airplane pieces than trying to emulate a radar. Because this is all I need. Like, I see weather in front of me there. Let's go ahead and do our direct two. Uh, let's get going to Orso's number eight. That was our original flight plan. That's probably going to be a right turn here. There we go. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and fly off to the right it's the meto blue contract holding it back uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh jeez oh, I have control what happened what was that what what happened here Team Vodka, what'd you do? LNAV. Autopilot engage. Let's redirect to number eight, enter. Is that a wake? Is wake turbulence modeled? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go vertical speed. And we need to arm the altitude. And we're going to vertical speed down here. So we can do vertical speed now. I should have my yoke up so I know what's happening. There we go. We're going to vertical speed down. 
We're gonna roll it. <laughs> I was Team Vodka's weak turbulence. It was indeed. So now we should be able, to, if in the vertical speed mode with the autopilot on, which is enabled now, we should be able to lower this VS here, which would help us increase our speed. I guess we can go up to 90 now, 91. All right, we're looking good. We're on nav, nav. We're holding out. We're looking good. We still have our wing lights on. Turn off lights. There we go. Wake turbulence ain't simulate. Uh, Sherwin Scott, it actually is. I'm pretty sure wake turbulence is modeled in Microsoft. It's airframe fluid now. Carson, YouTube is crushing with ads tonight. Really? It should only be one ad every 30 minutes, and it only goes to certain viewers. If you have premium, I think you're safe. Um, if you have an ad blocker, you're safe. I can't extend it any more than 30 minutes. <laughs> Wrong side. You'll be the one deviating around cells? Okay, well, maybe wrong side will deviate. Most everyone else would be like, oh, look, red. I'm going to fly into it. It was a space laser. The birds in the back shifted. Ah, birds, the birds, they all took off and landed on the same side of the airplane, AJ. A premium is so worth it during an election year. Yes. Yeah, I have two YouTube premium accounts. I have the one for the channel, obviously, and then I also have one for the kids. Like a kid's YouTube account. But, uh... Yeah, I can only extend it to 30 minutes unless I shut them off, which, as much as I would like to, still got to keep the lights on. Every five minutes, Carson? Man, you must just be getting pinged for some reason. I even try to, to skip them. Like, every time it pops up, if I'm looking over on my other monitor, I can skip it. And they should be skippable ads. <laughs> you want you call, you call it immersion? It's the, B, it's the BAE 146 fighter jet. Look at this! Look at this weather tonight, though. Oh, that is just a sweet view. Oh, you know what? I wonder if that. I might have to check my binds. I wonder if I have one of my views as one of those like aileron, because I think by default it's like aileron trim or something, right? The numpads. I might have a conflicting binding. We'll have to see. Meatloaf is done. All right. Go get your meatloaf. Al Loper's got a good idea. Reload the stream. See if you can uh, like just do a hard refresh on YouTube. I hear if you hit the like button, if you hit the like button, it also reduces ads. What's the state of that coffee after the barrel roll? The bill, let's take a look at it. Let's make sure everything is kosher back there. We're, uh, let's hit 2992. 2992 set. Uh, we're coming back here. Tell you what, let's go ahead and uh, go hot water. We'll start doing some tea. I think we dumped out all the coffee on the floor. What a mess. Oh, is that the light? That is the light. That's, that's a light for right here. And we don't need it anymore. What a mess, you guys. What an absolute mess. We gotta do some we gotta do some hot water for tea now. Uh what's happening? Okay, I must have a conflicting binding. Lower the nose, lower the nose. Whoa. Whoa, stick shaker on a, on the bruder is not cool. Okay, we have conflicting bindings then. Let's get her back down. What was that? What was that? Going sky high. All right, 22,000. We'll arm it. 
LNAV. Autopilot. IAS hold. Bring the power off to send down for me. Vodka has sabotaged us tonight. We washed off the coffee. <laughs> Let's get everything in check here. Let's get down to 220. XP72 has entered the chat. Uh, I guess we're going at 23,000. Alright, I'm at sync mode. Lower you down. Right about there. Vertical speed. Altitude is armed. 220. Checking our trims. Our trims are all neutral. We're going to have to check for a double binding. Quick ASAP report for the upset. You know what's crazy scary though? Is that stick shaker on the Bruner? Combined with a, like that pusher is it's, it gets your attention. That gets your attention very fast. True FedEx freight experience. Welcome aboard cheese. After the stream, check the trim binding and make sure you're not using pitch and roll in the yoke setting. After the stream, check the trim binding and make sure you're not using pitch and roll. I will have to check. Wait, do you have weird trim buttons on your profile, Team Vodka? Did you see Mini FCU doing a radio stack? Yes, Down South Traveler, I have, and I'm very, very excited for that. Thomas Armstrong, you're running while your package was damaged. Uh, that's okay, just contact Amazon. They'll be able to uh, send you a new one. We gotta set pitch and roll. Okay, I'll check. I'll check, Team Luck, uh, after the stream. I'm gonna make sure everything is fine here when we level off. I don't, I mean, there shouldn't be anything crazy because we flew yesterday, right? Yesterday we did a stream, everything was good. Uh, stop spewing it. It should be next week, or, and they're looking to release this uh, version next week. Was I in CWS mode? Did I never unsync it geographically inverted? Did I leave it in pitch sync? I don't remember now. Uh, Jeremy, yes, it does feel pretty realistic. It really does. The one I got working for the Lear is, is scary good. Like, the first time I had it, I, f I just floated a little long in the Lear, and I got a shaker, and I freaked out and, and like, smashed the tail. <laughs> All right, we're leveling out. We're LNAV, altitude hold. And we're going to do a hold, not a hold, but what was our TGT last time? I think it was 630 was like the juice. Let's come in here. We're going to go 630 TGT hold. That's going to run all the temps down to 630 max. And we're off in cruise. All right, let's do this. Hydraulics, uh, let's see, uh, starting after start. Let's go to the next page. After takeoff, gear flaps, TMS, engine air on, APU air is off, it packs on, pressurizing. Altimeters, AC pump off till approach. AC pump is off till approach. What else we got? Uh, PTU off. Brake fans auto off, fasten seatbelts and lights. PTU is off. So DC pump is on, AC pump is off, engine pumps are on, everything looks good. APU is shut down. We are looking fine in 09. Nice to see you stream the BAE 146. Not a lot of streamers fly it. You've really sold it to me. Thomas Armstrong. 
Thank you, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate the kind words. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Let's turn it down and let's let's settle into a little evening vibe here on the FedEx BAE 146. Um, but yeah, Thomas Armstrong, I'm glad you enjoy it because I said it on the stream the other day. It's like it, for some reason the 146 and even the Fokker. It might just be because it's it's older, older uh, aircraft, but it doesn't ever seem to like. It's not like a huge hit for a YouTube algorithm. I'm trying to remember my login here. What the heck is going on? I'm trying to log into our night vibes. Come on, man. Uh, two questions for the chat. Have you, okay, so what is with the, what is with YouTube and, not, I'm sorry, not YouTube, Microsoft Flight Sim Look up at five o'clock and resetting the windowed view every time you launch flight sim now. That's happening for everybody else. There's Team Vodka is about to pass us over there. Um, because every time I launch the sim, it goes into windowed view mode and I can't stand it. I was gonna ask something else too and I forget. Dom Pellegrino. Dropping a 20 gifted membership, man. Appreciate you, Dom. Guys, that is a massive. It actually tanked my OBS there. Let me go ahead and pause the alert box. Dom, very, very kind of you, man. Appreciate you. Little celebration for the V22s being back. Dom, V22s are back up and flying, man. Be safe out there. Be safe out there with that Osprey. But I appreciate the massive support. Turning the chat green on a Saturday night. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Thank you, Dom. Thank you for your service. And uh, always good to see you checking in on the stream here, man. You can hit all enter. Yeah, I know what you can do. But, like, it's, like, reset. Okay, it is a bug. I just, I wanted to make sure I didn't do something because it only started happening right after I moved my sim set up. I'm like, great. Did I mess something up when I moved sims? And, like, did I reset some setting somewhere? Okay, so that's why I was thinking it because it was only after I reset my sim moving it to the house. <clears throat> Assistant settings reset for me every once in a while too. Oh, really, Kimal? I'll have to keep an eye on that. Yeah, it's like it tries to download an update every time too. I've seen that, like that window pops up for a minute. Wrong side, you're in the beta and it's fixed? All right. You and your betas, man. <clears throat> Are you going to do a stream in the A300 with the new IDC? Oh, it has the new IDC already, Kyle? Well, heck yeah, man. We'll have to update it and maybe we'll do one... Uh, Wait a minute, tomorrow? I don't think I can stream tomorrow. If I can stream tomorrow, we'll go A300. Uh, then Monday, we'll have to figure out what to fly. We'll have to figure out what to fly on Monday. Maybe we'll be back in the bus. What do I think of the PMDG DC-6? I like it. MT, great airplane, terrible streaming airplane. Workload. There are, there are airplanes that I enjoy, and unfortunately, not all of them line up with streaming airplanes. Like... Airplanes that require a lot of attention to just fly in normal operation don't translate well for streaming because it just it's harder for me to stay engaged. It's harder for you guys to get questions answered and whatnot. Now, every now and then we just mix it up and do a full send and I do one of those streams. But uh, like the 146 is pushing it with the UNS-1, it's OK. But if we were doing anything conventional navigation while streaming is just it's a lot. It really is a lot. I vote turboprop. Ooh, Andrew. Maybe we need to fire up the old ATR. I don't think I can fire up the King Air as much as I love the Black Square King Air, knowing that the Turbine Duke is on the horizon with Boris sound packs on the PT6. So I don't know if I can if I can do it. Maybe we do TBM. Oh, is this like a play off that one song? What is this? Hold on, I'm going to restart. It sounds like a remix of something. I don't remember. 
Oh, that's a vibe right there. Could do a TBM. Fokker stream. Ah, Kyle, I want to do Fokker, but just like I was saying, man, it's such a hard... It's such a hard plane to stream with. It's very demanding. Now, drop my UNS-1 in the Fokker F-28. Ooh. Now we're talking. How about the Sop with the Camel? <laughs> I haven't flown that since, like, 98. Yeah, TBM is, dude, the TBM with force feedback, too, is just, pfft. Touch and goes in a 152. I don't know. We might. It'll either be a Fokker or ATR. It'll be Fokker or ATR. Oh, Lambo, J41. Man. They're pulling on my heartstrings now, dude. When is the next Green Dot video? John, uh, Johan Jacobs, we're going to do an in-flight. We're going to do an IFE. Is that music a little loud? I think it's a little loud. We're going to do an in-flight entertainment here. We only do those during long hauls. So this is what I want to do. Since we hit 40K subs, and thank you to all of you that are subscribed to the channel, we hit 40K. Uh, all of you in the chat are subscribers because you can't chat without it. Um, that's to help minimize the Tinder bots. Shout out if you remember the Tinder bots back in the day. <laughs> that was something. That's why subscribers mode is only on. Um, what were we talking about? I forget what we were talking about. I was going to say something important. Oh, Green Dot. Yes. Um, so here's what I want to do. For 40K subs, I want to do a mini Kai, uh, like a mini Kai Tech tour. So we're going to kind of like put ourselves in Kai Tech and fly in and out of Kai Tech for like maybe three or four streams in a row because that approach. I want to fly the 748 in there. I want to fly the Airbus in there because that would be fun. I want to fly... Uh, maybe the MD-80, as you guys say, an MD-80, that would be kind of cool. That would be spicy. Um, but I want to, I don't, I, I was kind of hoping we have a triple by now. Um, so I'm kind of trying to see. But we only do the in-flight green dot on long hauls. So anything over like 600 miles is typically when I break out the green dot aviation vids. <clears throat> you doing a long haul from LA to Sydney? No, we're not doing that again. But you know what we are going to do? You know what, Force Raptor? You guys want to see more long hauls? I don't know why. They're awful. But I can do long hauls now and be at home, so I have no problem doing them. We'll set, I'll set up the sim, and I'll just go to bed. Like, I'm down to do some more long hauls. I would do a 777 to uh, Kai Tech. Can you make that in one leg? Surely you could, right? LA to Kai, LA to Kai Tech? Maybe you got to go like from Detroit, go over the top. Could you go over the top? Triple seven. How do we get there in one stop from uh, non-stop from the U.S.? Where would we have to take off from? Just mute the mic. Yeah, I'll mute the mic. <laughs> L.A. to Hong Kong. Triple sevens do it every day. All right. Yeah, that makes sense, Tim. Duh. Yeah, L.A. to Hong Kong. All right. I was just thinking, I guess, yeah, Kai Tech is right there. That is the old Hong Kong. For some reason, I was thinking Kai Tech was further, but it's only like, it's right there. They're just right next to each other. Detroit to Hong Kong in the 748. Oof. Could y'all imagine the stress doing the Kai Tech approach after leaving from Detroit or LA? It was one thing doing Sydney to LA for 17 hours or however long that stream was and landing in LA when it's a long flat runway. The pressure to not screw up that landing after a 10 plus hour long haul. A380, ooh. Adam Ammon, this update is awesome. A 146 is so awesome. Hey, man, you're going to absolutely love it when it drops. No doubt. Team Vodka, let me know when we need to start down because I'm not even paying attention. We're just vibing out here, though. 146 is a vibe tonight. I love this airplane. I would drool for A380 streams. Nabil, they'll be coming. Don't worry, man. I will be flying the 380. I think our first flight, though, is going to be Philly to Orlando, just for fun. Because U.S. Airways used to run an A300, or I'm sorry, an A330. 
Philly to Orlando, and it was always full. I sat in the jump seat because it was full. So we're gonna warm up. We're gonna warm up our 380 with Philly to Orlando, and uh, and then we'll try to take it somewhere far. Then we might go Orlando, Miami, just for fun. <laughs> Dimitri H, 16 months, man. Appreciate the support, dude. Welcome, welcome on board. Kai Tech and Chip Lapcock, Chip Lapcock. Are so close, uh, VATSIM controllers don't like you landing at KaiTech because you fly directly over the new airport on the IGS-13. Well, the good news, Steven, is I'm banned from VATSIM, so we should be fine there. My first 777 flight will be from Payne Field to L.A. Ooh. To then take it to Sydney. That's a good one, Geographic Inverted. That's a good one. There's a 777 freighter from DHL that flies every week from Miami to South Korea nonstop. Ooh. You know what I saw today? I saw Qantas Cargo. I saw... Qantas Cargo, we're overspeeding just a tad. Let's knock this down to 620. We're going to ride the barber pole. We're right on the limit. That should get us back. Um, I saw Qantas Cargo 7-4 in, in Atlanta today. I also saw a Korean Air Cargo, and I want to say it was an A300. That doesn't seem right. We're an A310. Maybe it was a triple, but I thought it was a, a two-engine Airbus. You might be able to figure it out on FlightAware what it was, but I, I was like, wait, what? Because normally I see that Korean 748. I see a Korean Air 748 doing passenger service out of Atlanta. But today there was a Qantas 74 freight on the freight pad, and then there was a Korean two-engine wide body. I don't remember what it was. You left your engine and ass on this whole time, t -Vodka? Well, good thing it's not a Boeing or else they would start coming apart on the inside. That's the latest thing with the uh, with the Max, right? Is like if you run the engine anti-ice on for when you don't need it, it'll actually damage the acoustic lining now. Okay, then it was a 777, Kyle. That, that, that would make sense. Yeah, it was because it was Korean cargo. North Korea... Uh, do we have any? I don't think we even have any scenery. I saw a 380 speed bed the other day, Kyle, in DFW. Hassel Basso, if we try to land in North Korea, it would just be like a gray square tile. There'd be no ortho, it'd be nothing. Door seal plugs fired. We're going past Bakersfield. Ugh. Spent a lot of time in Bakersfield. Bakersfield, Visalia. Oh, look at that. Juicy. The world on time, baby. Where are we flying out of? Preferably no door plug. There's actually satellite imagery and ortho in North Korea. Really? <laughs> of course. Japan tour would be cool. Trevor, I know. We might just have to bypass the super long haul and go back and do some Asia stuff. We did an Asia tour, but it was at a it was at a difficult time. I just just got into the office or was just leaving the office and X Plane was out, but Microsoft, I was just starting to like Microsoft a lot. But I wasn't like there wasn't any planes in Microsoft other than the fly by wire. And um, I think that was it. I think it was just a fly-by-wire. And it was nowhere near where it is now. And there's not a ton of great scenery in X-Plane. Plus, you can have the best scenery in X-Plane. It still doesn't look as good as some of the default Microsoft. So I kind of want to revisit Asia in Microsoft. So that's kind of what I'm getting at with the Kitech tour. You know, we can do some long hauls at a Kitech. <clears throat> I remember when the Antonov was in Houston. Oh, yeah. Speed tape films, geographic inverted. I fall asleep to them. If I'm not falling asleep to like some fishing video or something else, it's speed tape films, man. Have you done Africa? Nope, I have not. And I'm saving that for a reason. I'll let you all know since we're all here on a Saturday night vibe. I'm kind of saving Africa because I want to do an A350 Atlanta to Cape Town and then do a uh, Africa tour. Kind of what I was hoping on. Could do it on the triple too. I'd probably do it on the triple. Triple seven, uh, Atlanta, Cape Town. 
I don't know who would fly that though, because the Delta doesn't have any triples, right? Canada tour Halifax to Vancouver. Love Halifax. Sixteen hours. Whew. Yeah, but I can do it at home and we just go to sleep. Although by the time we do that tour, I don't know what the state of the channel will be. Yes, Victor Silva, the MD-80 is good. I don't know if Cam MD-80 is still here, but uh, it's his favorite airplane. Enter his name. But uh, yeah, it's a good airplane, man. I just wish it was a little... I, I don't like what how Leonardo brought their airplane to the sim, but it is a good airplane. The systems are well modeled. Uh, if you tweak the flight model resistance, like on the pitch roll, you have to fix it. Because out of the gate, by default, it flies like you have no ailerons. Uh, but if you fix that, if you increase the sensitivity, it actually flies really good. The performance numbers are good on it. The systems are good on it. It's a very well done airplane. But the sounds also suck, too. So you got to get a sound pack. Um, but yeah, it's a good, it's a good airplane. Need a 744 for uh, Joburg to Sydney over Antarctica. Ooh. Yeah, no more 777s for Delta. That's right. <laughs> Cam, it's Cam today. What's up, man? Are you going to fly the Bluebird 75? Of course, Joe. Of course, my man. I know from DFW you got to go to Qatar to Doha, then catch South African to Johannesburg. Wow. Yeah, I see that Qatar 350 in DFW a lot too. More Alaska flying. I almost did uh, – there's Air Pack Fireflyer. So Air Pacific, I believe, went out of Seattle up to Sitka. I think it was Sitka. I was going to do that, but it was 630 miles. I'll tell you what. We might have to – I don't know if we'll do it on the 146, but we should go up to Alaska. We should go up to Alaska 100%. Maybe we should take out the PMDG. See what's going on with the 7.3. I mean, I fly the 320, so I'm basically qualified on the 737, right? 80 miles to TOD. All right, are you ahead of me or behind me? Yeah, the Delta 7-4 in Detroit. Trevor, you know why all their heavies were up there in Detroit? Or why not all, but you know what the the original planning was of having the heavy base in Detroit was? The original idea behind it? Oh, Dutch Harbor. That's, I think, jet-centric. I think that's what I meant to say. I think Dutch Harbor. Thoughts on the upcoming MD-11? Uh, Tim K., the MD-11 is, of all... Of every single three-hole jet available, the MD-11 to me would be at the bottom of the list. It's the most mid. Um, with that said, though, I still look forward to flying it when it's finished. I'm not in the pre-release or the pre-beta. I'm not in any of that stuff. So, like, I'm just going to, you know, whenever. When it drops, it drops. Um, I enjoyed the one that we had in X-Plane for the short time that we flew it. I enjoyed flying the Western Global livery around. Had an FO the other day that was a Western Global uh, pilot for like 10 years. Had some cool stories. But, yeah, I'm ex I, I will fly the MD-11. I'm not very excited for it either. And I don't really know how to put my finger on why that is. Because I love three-hole jets. But I would take a DC-10 over an MD-11. I would for sure take an L-10 over a DC-10, and I would take a 7.2 over an L-10, although the gap is much smaller between a DC... Like, 7.2, L-10, I'd be very, very ecstatic for both of those. Um, if I had to pick one, God, I would really love a 7.2, but I also would like that L-10 because it's a wide body, so... Yeah, but the MD-11 would be on the bottom of that list for me. Imagine a Phoenix L10. Oh my gosh, Kyle. Yeah. We did do we did do Alaska in the Transall. You're right, Team Vodka. I access orbit. What's up, man? You missed. Uh, we almost rolled it. We almost rolled it after departure. 
because Team Vodka's Bruner profile is messed up. And then we uh, went vertical. We went ballistic out of 22,000 feet, shot up to almost 25, uh, and then we recovered. But we're looking good now. I think I have a, conf I think I have a uh, conflicting binding. Pacific Southwest L1011, yes. Yes, Ryan. So much yes on that, dude. So much yes. Let's take a look up here. Let's come down here. Let's go VNAV. I want to do a 2,000 vertical speed target. 52 miles approximately for Emzo at our above 28. We're already below that. We're already at a lower altitude, so our um, our uh, TOD will be a little bit different than Team Vodka's for sure. Man, this is just a sweet time to fly, real time though. I don't know. I don't know what view to look at. That's pretty juicy right there. The load guys didn't secure the cargo. You're right. We just stream a 70. Uh, yeah, geographically inverted. It is on the same lines of DC6 workload, but it's a 707, dude. Come on, yes. I love old jets. I. If the DC6 had a PT6 turboprop mod, I'd probably fly it on stream. It's just for the amount of work that you put into the DC6 to run it. At the end of the day, you're still slow and, like, low. Um, and honestly, one of the things that bothers me about the DC-6, the real airplane, not, not, and maybe it's just because it's in the sim, is I don't like the square cockpit. Like, in real life, if you sit up there, it's more dimensional feeling, I guess. I don't know how to word it. But it, it's just the way it is in sim world. I think if you had VR, it probably be different, but... Nah, I... I would definitely fly a 707. But it would be a challenge, don't worry. It would definitely be a challenge. Migs! Gifting five more memberships to the channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Migs. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me tonight. It is late night, 10 p.m. Eastern, and we still have folks from all over the world. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the five gifted memberships, Migs. Looks like Mr. Bombtech picked up a or uh, yeah uh no camp bomb tech is a member uh cam md80 picked up a membership man joey 23r what's up man yep that's what i was saying now that i got internet at the house you're gonna start seeing a lot more content it's a lot different times um going back to the md11 conversation I'm actually more excited for the uh, Aerodynamics DC-10 than I am the Payware TFDI MD-11. So I'm actually I'm actually more excited for that uh, that freeware project. Boeing 307 Stratoliner Stream. <laughs> Fubar, what's up, man? V1 Nation. I'm hoping that maybe. Maybe, just maybe, Just Flight will surprise us all and say a 727's on the horizon. Because they made one for FSX, the Just Flight Professional 727. It's got, it, there's, the information is out there. Come on, Just Flight. It'd be the perfect airplane for Just Flight to do. And they have their A300B4. So that's kind of like their round gauge, big airliner. They can test. They got their INS, their SIVA INS in there. And then they could just, you know, pop out a 7-2. Brandon Brodsky, nine months of support, man. Appreciate you. What better add-on to V-Spirit delivery than a V-1 stream? Hey, man, you doing a delivery flight for V-Spirit? Good deal, man. Good deal. In Detroit today, I actually saw some, I saw a 321 Neo from Spiritual Wangs. Looks like it had just been delivered. Was over at the Spirit Maintenance Hangar there off of, uh, what's that, 2, uh, whatever that runway is there. The Phoenix new project that starts with the S. Kyle Ferris, it's a 737-400, and I'm jacked for that one. I should fly some Captain Sim. Fireflyer, I had the Captain Sim 72, Captain Sim 707, Captain Sim 757. I had all of their products in FSX. They were a great add-on in FSX, man. 
I don't know what happened, why they quit. Maybe they realized they could get half the money with 1% of the work. I don't know. Retro Friday flying FSX FS9. Ugh. That's all I need is like a fifth sim. Jeremy says when you first started flying the Airbus, was it... Well, I can't see the messenger because that heart thing is blocking it. Uh, was it love at first sight or did you have to learn to like the airplane? Um, I had to, it had to, I had to, it had to earn my trust, Jeremy. I'll tell you that. Um, it wasn't, I, I enjoyed it, but it was a step back. Like I said, it, it was a step back in technology coming from the E-Jets. The E-Jets are more advanced. So it was a step back as far as technology wise, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it, but I was always kind of like, what is it doing? And the Airbus takes more time. I think you need a solid, like, you need a solid thousand hours on the A320 series, probably any Airbus series, like the modern one. Uh, you need a solid thousand hours on the jet before you really grasp in all different scenarios what the airplane is doing, what you want it to be doing, what it's going to do next. Like, yes, you can learn all the book stuff you want, but unless your ass is in the seat for a thousand hours and you see the differences in like how different ship numbers do things differently every now and then, like even though it's all the same, some airplanes have quirks, you really need that thousand hours. Whereas you look at, you know, I look at the E-Jets, I think right around 400 hours is a pretty solid number. You know, some of the lighter jets, anywhere between that three, 400 hour 500 hours max and then i think you should be pretty comfortable in an airliner but the airbus is right around that maybe if you're a quick learner maybe 800 800 to a thousand hours is kind of like that sweet spot in my opinion and that's where i see a lot of fo's where the light bulbs really start coming on you know guys that have been in the seat for a while you know and depending on how long you've been on the bird if you're flying 75 80 hours a month you know it's a little over a year so you need a couple years i'd say a year and a half two years you're pretty solid see every season twice fly through every season of the year twice then it's love man then it's just a it's a great relationship douglas phillips dropping 50 bones to the channel. Douglas Phillips, thank you for that massive $50 super chat, my man. V1, so good to finally catch a stream. Hope you and the fam are doing great. Did you move back to Texas? Not yet, Douglas Phillips. Appreciate you, man. Yes, everyone's doing great. I think everyone's upstairs. Everyone's asleep. We're down in the basement with the bugs and the mealworms, or not mealworms, but whatever these little worms are in Georgia that are weird. Um, we're good, Douglas Phillips. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, we'll be making the move here in a couple months probably. So, uh, But very kind of you. Thank you for the support. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend, man. Captain Scam seems to be in it for the cash. Oh, yeah. That's what it seems like now. 72780V? Yes. Please. All right. How are we looking? We're still riding that horn. All right. It's time to... Uh, it's time to pause the music though, chat. Time to get to work. I think. All right, we're 22,000 feet. Let's go to the arrival. Let's look at the star. We're on the Emzo 3. Let's load that up. Where are we here? Let's go to our nav page. Uh, from Emzo to my jaw. We're headed to my jaw. That's at 270. We're going to make things easy. Let's plan to cross my rib 240 at 9,000. So I'm going to go to our VNAV. Markel, uh, FedEx uh, 415 descending MZO 3 for the uh, ILS 30 at Oakland. Just passing through uh, 275. He paused. No, I don't want to do a VNAV direct to. How do I go back? Hold on. Oh, that's nav. Sorry. No. This is a path V nav. Um, I tell you what. What did I say? My rib at nine. 
My jaw, next schism after schism. Is that schisms uh, between 19 and 15? After schism, it's. My rib, 1 4. So, and we want to cross that at 9,000. So we need to start coming down. I might have messed that box up just now. Might have messed it all up. We're going to set. Uh, what are we going to set? Let's start initially at or above 22 for my jaw. Schism's at 15. Yeah, we messed that up. Schism's at 15. 15 is set, altitude arm. I'm gonna do IAS hold, because we're right at the barber pole. And now we gotta get out of TGT. We're gonna go to uh, sync mode, and we're gonna roll it on back. And down she goes. Where's Team Vok at? He's probably close by. Can you do RNAV? Yes, you can do RNAV, Victor Silva. You sure can. You just have to, you gotta wanna do the dive and drive method. Dive and drive method until you get comfortable and then start trying to do a constant rate descent. So uh, we're gonna do the dive and drive method here. So we need to be schism between 15 and 19. So two schism. We're on our way there, we're 23, 22 miles out. And schism is 19 and 15, so we're pretty close. But, we're, I mean, 700 feet will be within the limit already. Let's get an updated METAR. We'll also throw in the approach. I'm going to throw in the ILS just to be safe. Uh, let's go back to our briefing, though. Let's go, not charts, sorry. We're going to go OFP, METAR, refresh, weather, Oakland right now. 18, 29 or 63. 0, 030 0 at 10. So that looks good. Charts, approaches, ILS 30. And we're looking at 1087 and 296. 1087 and 296 on the approach course. I'll double it up actually. About 296. And what I say, 108. 7. That is on. Okay, cool. All right. We're out of 16 for 15. We're gonna level, we'll be 13 miles before, so let's go back to our arrival. Let's go back to our star, rather. Mzo three. All right, uh, schism, we're gonna be at 15. Our next one is gonna be 29 at my rib. You're right in front of me, Team Vodka? All right, oh, I think I see you. Nope, that's a something on my screen, my monitor. Leveling 15 thou. As soon as we go to out capture mode, we're gonna go ahead and dial in 9,000. There we go, out. So now I wanna dial in, I'll dial in 10 because we might be above 250. So I got 10,000, I'm not gonna arm it yet. As we level off, let's get the power up. Let's get our checklist back here. Descent check, PTU is coming on. PTU is on. Uh, pressurization, briefing, landing data, seats and harnesses. So we're gonna do a flaps 33, 118, our bugs are set. Descent check is complete, approach. Uh, we'll get the APU and AC pump auto on for landing. I'll tell you what, so I don't forget, I'm just going to go auto now. There's nothing wrong with going auto now a little bit early. Uh, 
Um, you're descending IS opposed to VNAV? Correct. Because I want to be able to... Uh, to judge my... I want to do my... I'm doing my dive and drive tonight. We're doing the dives and drives. So we're just getting down, leveling off. And I want to get down on the bottom of these altitudes. Of the windows. All right, here comes where one point, uh, we just hit the waypoint, so now we're gonna rearm it, and we'll stay in IIS hold. That way we keep our speed, we'll protect our speed. Down we go. Oh, that's a beautiful shot right there. Just landed a bit, uh, good tailwind. Oh, good tailwind, where, in Oakland? Hopefully not in Oakland, should be right down the pipe. All right, after we cross my rib at 10, we'll slow to 240, or we gotta be at 240, and then Miney is a hard seven. Mr. Fubar, 47 months of support, dude, appreciate ya. Congrats on 40K, best streamer, best community. Hey, Mr. Direct Fubar. I appreciate you, man. Very kind of you. Thank you for supporting the channel as long as you have 47 months. 12, 24, 36, 48. One more month, and you are full-fledged V1 official with four wings, man. That's crazy. Thank you for the four years, Fubar. Can you believe that? Four years we've been doing this together. That's fun, man. Appreciate you. You guys are awesome. All right, we're 10 miles out. The good thing about late streams, flying west coast is sunset arrivals. Yes, Al Loper, you're absolutely right. I don't have to tweak the, uh, the timing in the sim. I love it. I absolutely love this. I might try to up the bit rate uh, on the next stream just to, because everything's been so stable. I might try to squeeze a little more juice out of the YouTube Compressions because when I watch my streams back, I'm like, ah, man, that is not what I'm looking at in the sim, but The only, the problem with juicing up the bitrate is it can affect the viewer if they don't have the download rate, but all right, here comes 10,000. We're five miles. We're right on it. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and I'm so confident. I'm going to set nine. And we're just going to go ahead and bring that power back. And I'm actually going to go vertical sped. So now it should lock in that. If I bring the power down, it should slow down as we get ready to go through 10. A little bit of air brake. Oh, look at that. Crack that flap there in the back. Goodness. 250 K knots at a 10,000 feet. Here we go. Let's light it up. Landing lights are coming on. Those are on. Wing lights, logo lights, starting the APU. That's normal. 250 knots. We are approaching my hip. My hip. We're level until Miney at 7,000 feet. So we'll let a lever here. Nine and two feet. Whew. Andre Henry. 49 months. He's showing you up, Fubar. <laughs> Andre Henry, man. 49 months. Fully fledged V1 status. That's a pretty daggone emoji there. I like I like the emoji setup we got going on here on this channel. Andre, congrats on 40K. Here's the next 40K. Absolutely, my friend. Absolutely. Next 40K coming at you. Appreciate you, dude. YouTube will compress for those low bandwidths, so go for higher quality. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... I wanted to keep everything the same, Vladimir, just for the first few streams here, just to make sure, you know, I don't like changing multiple things at once. Because then if something goes wrong, I don't know which one went wrong. But, uh, yeah, I think it's time. IAS hold now. Oh, gotta arm it. IAS hold. Didn't click it. Now I did. Bring it back. Down to seven. Here we go. There's Team Vodka. Oh, that's so cool. I can see his nav lights there. That is so cool. Eight point eight for seven. Migs dropping fifty Canadian bones. Migs, appreciate you, man. Thank you for the support tonight, y'all. You guys are awesome. This is crazy coming out of ten twenty p.m. stream. Migs, have we done a landing in White Horse yet? If not, I'll make you an extra grande ice frap, extra shot of espresso if it's after dark, and make myself even more scarce. No questions asked. If I ever see odd waypoints out over the ocean. <laughs> Pinky promise. Uh, Migs. First and foremost, when the 777 releases, we're going to do the in-flight entertainment again from Green Dot, and we're going to do the Malaysia 370 again because that was wild. And I don't even remember half the things I said because it was like 3 o'clock in the morning when we were doing it. But, yes. Uh, Migs, thank you for that support. White Horse. Where's White Horse? We'll go there next, man. Appreciate you, Migs. White Horse, here we go. We're coming to White Horse next. Where's that? Yellowstone? Appreciate the support. Do you ever start the APU in the air? Uh, in the Airbus? Only in abnormals. If you lose a generator, I'll fire it up. Um, but on, the, on this airplane, you do. All right, let's go direct to something on the approach. Let's go D2. Let's go direct to move on. Direct to move on. And let's descend to six thou. Oh, that's a cool shot. Bill's Mafia. Tough year, man. MH370 landing at Diego Garcia Air Force Base. Bomb tech. Hey, we're not in the Lear yet, man. We, we're going to do a Lear stream very, 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 very soon. Hell, we might have to do a Citation 525 stream because I do like flying that airplane a lot, too. Um, yeah, we got a lot to talk about, Bomb Tech. We got a lot to talk about. What's the difference from the CFM 565B and the B7 on the Tolus? B7 is the B7 that has more power. One of them is stronger, Laser Shark, or, or less D rated. So the engines are D rated to lower thrust settings. Uh, but I, I want to say the B7 is. Uh, I don't know, though. For some reason, I want to say the 56B. I don't know. CFMs are CFMs. You shouldn't be flying them. I mean, you should be flying the IE anyway. But, uh, yeah, it has to do with thrust duration. Let's keep coming down. 5,000. Approach. Uh, three zero. Where's Team Vodka at? Move on's at 2,700. Let's actually make this 3,000 then. And I'm going to take control here. Traffic FedEx 415 heavy, uh, 15 miles. ILS 3 Load on. It's 15 miles. We getting DME too? Yeah, we're 18 miles. We'll slow it up. Oakland traffic, FedEx 357, about 18 mile final, 3-0. We'll go ahead and start slowing now. All right, we're gonna slow it up. Before I do that, I gotta go flight recorder on. I gotta get it booted up here. Runway's in sight. Man, a fire sky tonight. Recording is on. I wanna get the lighting right in here. I got too much brightness. There we go. All right, let's hand fly it. Autopilot's coming off. Flight directors are coming off. And we'll go straight to uh, localizer. Wait, that's San Jose. Yeah, there's Oakland over there. 
I don't need to keep, I don't need to record this far out. No, I'll just leave it for now. It'll just be a long replay. I'm gonna fly right over the top of San Jose's airspace. So move on. We went direct. Move on. Yeah, at an angle that makes sense. All right. We're all looking good now. Three thousand feet. Let's go ahead and level her off here. Get a little trim in there. And let's go ahead and keep slowing down, though, because Team Vodka is right in front of us. I see him there just off the nose. Are we on Mars? No. It looks a little bit like X-Plane, though. Flight slips alive. One to go. I'm going to start slowing up to final, actually, right now. Let's go ahead and get that speed break out. Jeez. How slow are you going up there in that 300? Speed checked below. Uh, 210 right now. Select flaps 18. Flaps 18. We're going to slow to final. 2500. Speed check below 205. Select gear down. Who does 210 and a 310 or in a 300 this far out? Only Team Vodka. We're slowing her all the way up. Flaps 30. Oh my gosh, look I at do. this. <laughs> Flaps full. Ooh, yeah, get that trim in there. All right. I'll tell you what, we'll do a little bit of an S-turn here. <laughs> Stephen. Doing 110 knots, I'm almost stalling here. I'm gonna do an S-turn, we're gonna fly past the low here just a tad. I think Hayward's back off here. I think that's Hayward right there. That's Hayward, California, where we flew the freight dogs out of. Chieftains. After Oakland. Okay, stop flying a window view. Let's come back to the left. Yeah, there we go. We got enough space in now. All right, let's get back on course. One little S-turn. I saw a Southwest 737 doing crazy S-turns in New Orleans because an American was landing from. Like, what is that Southwest doing? And they were doing S-turns, and they were doing them low. I mean, they were... They were closer than I am right now, and they were doing some hardcore S-turns to get spacing into New Orleans. Just sitting there holding short. I'm like, that is pretty spicy. All right, landing check, gear down, flaps full, nothing else to arm, runway's clear. Looks like he just landed. That's one thing we can do in this 146 is slow down. Gotta dial in this wind. It looks like it's a little bit of crosswind from the right. So I'm just trying to dial in the track diamond on the course line. Oh, there's a wind shift. Thank you, Microsoft. Yep, definitely from the right now, even stronger. Hundred feet will pop the brake. Let's try to get a nice butter on this one. We're flying freight. What is a touchdown zone? Getting a little bit high and a little bit fast. Let's go speed break early. Let's just see if we can grease this thing on here. Look at this crosswind though. This might be problematic with our slippery rudder pedals here. Look at this crab coming in here. Yeah, 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 we're going for the butter. Calm down. Going pro streamer mode right now. 40, 30. Don't Airbus flare it. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Yeah. Not a butter. <laughs> that was a bourbon landing. Okay. More left rudder. <laughs> that was <laughs> That was so bad. That was so bad. I gotta get to till I'm there we go. 
367. <laughs> uh, it's alright, we're gonna. Team Vodka thinks he's gonna win here. Team Vodka thinks he's gonna win. Who's really victorious now? This is what we call descent and arrival planning. Hey. Don't mind if I do. Yep, kick the rudder too early. I flared too early. You're scared. <laughs> Wrong side. I swear, dude. You you should have seen my landing today, man. I had one of the smoothest landings I've had in months. I mean, it was like I mean, it's a 321, so you're a little you're further ahead, but I didn't. I mean, short of the airplane, you know, deploying the spoilers eventually, it was like, did we land? It was a total greaser total greaser nothing like this this is the problem when i fly the airbus the same day as i come in here and try to stream is now i'm like i'm still in airbus mode <laughs> bourbon landings are the best landings we've we've had some few bourbon events on this channel back when the channel first started if you're one of those high badge wearers one of those uh one of those one wing bar you at least gotta have probably gotta have at least one wing on your name you probably remember some of our bourbon landings our bourbon parkings we had a bourbon parking event in LaGuardia one night. That was not good. I was trying to be all hardcore about it, and we just, yeah, I don't know, man. It just was not good. <laughs> but we had an emoji for a while. Bourbon did it. Might have to bring it back. Might have to bring back the bourbon did it. I rode on one not long ago that was the same. I was sitting forward of the wings and couldn't tell we had touched down. Nice, man wrong side there was a sweet trip it was like a atlanta orlando atlanta orlando atlanta and i went to pick it up and some other junior guy got it f for me i'm so mad because it's first come first serve in the open time pot i was like that would have been the absolute perfect day trip because it's a day trip for me day trip for you but it'll happen man we're gonna make it work another for wingnut Gustavo's here. What's up, man? Bomb tech. You're just glad we had a late night stream? Me too, man. I had fun with it. We're going to leave all the lights on because me trying to find all the lights, which is again twice, is going to be interesting. Let's find ourselves a nice cargo ramp. I'll be nice. I'll, uh, I'll take the second one. Team Vodka can have the first one. I'll take the second one. He can park there. I think this is actually the UPS ramp, though. Oh, you know what? Where should we go? Is that FedEx over there? Oh yeah, that's FedEx over there. We gotta go to the FedEx. We can't park at UPS. We gotta go to the FedEx ramp. Scud running hard bank into a very short final a few weeks back. Might have been a bourbon lane. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, Migs. We don't talk about that here. <laughs> In the Lear. Dude, that was actually... We need to rewatch that landing. That was crazy. Scud running the Learjet into Burbank. That was an absolute wild one. All right, I'll take. Uh, well, let's let's go up here in front of the FedEx logo. I'm gonna park right here. There's plenty of spots for Team Vodka. We'll take. What is that? Spot four. Ramp number four here. Team Vodka, I think I want to adjust your force profile, though. Like, at low speed, it's too soft. It's too soft at low speed. It's Team Vodka. Team Vodka sabotaged us this stream with his uh, Bruner profile. Erp. Brakes are set. We're not even going to shut it down because it takes too long to restart it. Let's see where Team Vodka parks, though. Where are you parking? Left or right? He should be coming right here. Come on. Come on, Team Vodka, right here. I'll marshal you in. Let's judge his parking. 
was awesome seeing FedEx Ops. I've worked for them for the last eight years. Joey23Art, that's awesome, man. One of my best friend's father worked for FedEx for, I want to say, like 30-something years. Retired. Uh, he was the loadmaster in Sky Harbor. And, uh, but, yeah, that's awesome, man. Team Purple. Good stuff, man. Glad you enjoyed it. Trevor, thank you for the $10 Super Chat. For the greaser into Detroit, not Oakland. Still waiting on that Lear South America tour. We officially kicked off. Best dreams are those from down south. <laughs> Trevor, the problem is we landed in Haiti and uh, our Lear was hijacked. So we have issues. We, we're we going to have to do a rescue mission out of Haiti because that's where we left the Lear, dude. So we got to go get our Lear out of Haiti. All right, Team Vodka can't park. <laughs> Let's go into the replay. Uh, let's see how we did here. Replay is on. I'm gonna wind the time back. I'm gonna let the airplane get all caught up here. I think it actually, yeah, this does it all normally, which is cool. All right, we did our S turns. Let me turn the brake off. Terrain ahead. I'll leave y'all with a long one. You can watch the S turns. Here we go. Gotta fight the. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh, Bomb Tech, you're killing me, dude. Gonna have to fight uh, barbecue for you for bar. Gonna have to fight barbecue for your leer. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys are getting me. That, that means it's time to get out of here. You guys, we're starting to get, we're starting to get on Lear levels of conversation. I know, I'm not, hey, look, Bomb Tech, I'm not going to dispute it, my man. <laughs> I'm not going to dispute it. Just like the Bill and Hillary Clinton Little Rock Airport. ATF raid was totally legit. Man, flared at 30, rudder too early, and just dropped it on. All right, let's see how we did here. I, this is embarrassing. Now, the rudder, I actually have much better control. It's just because my chair is rolly, I don't have the tactical flip-flops, and my rudders are literally sliding away from me when I go more than 50%. So I will try to remember to fix both of those before the next stream because the ground handling is great with the 146. Oh yeah, see, Airbus flare, it was just too early. But it was actually, it wasn't that bad. You said it was a 377? That, really? Well, that was a full-blown 377, if you ask me. Look at that crab, though, goodness. We probably should have landed flaps 30. Look at that crab angle. We gotta do a flyby over the runway here. A Little bit of dolphin going on. A Little bit of dolphin, Steven. Dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. <laughs> look, at, look, look at me dolphining down here. When I used to fly DCS a lot in the Warbirds, that was the go-to maneuver for the Spitfire. If you just dolphin rapidly, you like never get hit with a gun. It's like dolphin, dolphin, dolphin. <laughs> All right, we need to go. I need to go. AJ Funari dropped another five dollar. Super chat, man. The Lear in Haiti is gone like military gear in Afghanistan. Might have better luck finding the equipment on the black market. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yep. Either that or we're going to see some Lears flying around here in just a minute. Trying to make their way to Orlando. No rad. Oh, yeah. That was ugly. That was an ugly one, chat. I, I can do better. I will do better next time. Migs, thank you for the $5 super chat as well, my friend. Appreciate you. Ooh, I almost just ended the stream. Didn't want to do that. I want to do one flyby here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. We're going to get this going. And I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to read Migs' comment. I'm going to turn you off. 
That's actually a really cool, perfectly timed screenshot right there. That is cool. Migs. Safe to say the Lear has very quickly become a channel favorite, but I swear every flight in that thing takes years off our lives. It sure does, man. I, I feel the same exact way, Migs. Appreciate another $5 super chat from you. Cold Bay dropping a $5 super chat as well. Oh, look how pretty that is. Cold Bay, I'm still relatively new, but I'm loving the content and the community. Thank you, V1. Cold Bay, appreciate you, man. I hope you stick around for a while. We got, we got the best community here on YouTube. I'm biased, obviously, but we have bourbon, so appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cold Boy, for your first super chat here on the channel. Welcome to V1 Nation. I hope there'll be many more streams. You'll be able to hang out and watch with us. Thank you, everyone else who donated. Shout out Migs, uh, Migs with the donos, AJ Funari. We got. Douglas Phillips dropping a massive super chat. Many, many more. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to leave you with a replay. Why is sale so loud? Is sale extremely loud for you guys? It was like way loud. Okay. Couldn't even hear myself. All right, that's it. I hope you all have a wonderful Easter. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Until the next one, stay safe, stay healthy. Team Vodka, thanks for flying along, man. It was fun. Glad I got to cut you off there. I am still leading and beating you from point A to point B, even when you fly a faster airplane. Till the next one, y'all stay safe, stay healthy. I'm V1. See you.